What's up guys? So the Greek gods, we completely destroyed Olympus and their home in the original God of War trilogy. However, there are still gods that are out there in the world. And since we now know that the Norse world and the Greek world and all the mythologies all share this one earth, they are still out there roaming the world doing whatever the hell. Now in this video, we will be exploring the theory that they will make a return in God of War 4. But anyways, let's get right into the video. The Greek gods were formidable opponents. Everybody who fought against Kratos when Kratos attacked Olympus itself fought a hard battle. However, eventually they all died. However, not all of the Greeks actually participated in the final battle. Some didn't make an appearance at all. In this video, I will be talking about the theory, what if they returned and they attacked Kratos? So first off, let's just get this out of the way. If you guys haven't seen the video, the world is shared by all mythologies at one point. Kratos traveled north from Greece to Norway, and that's how he's in Norse mythology. Now, wherever the hell these Greek gods were when Olympus was being attacked, they can easily group together and attack Kratos because you have to remember Kratos destroyed their home, destroyed their land, and destroyed their kingdom. That's instant motivation for them to attack. Now one thing I would like for them to appear just to answer the question why weren't they there during Olympus's attack? Was Zeus afraid that if they do lose he needs some Greek gods to stay behind to carry on the kingdom? or to exact revenge on Kratos himself. I hope that question is answered, I really really do, but let's get into some of the Greek gods that are actually still alive. Some of the gods that still exist from Greek mythology is the goddess of magic and ghost, Hecate. Now if Hecate is in the game, that would be pretty damn cool because she can just throw all these different magic attacks at us, she can have a lot of creativity in what she can do in terms of attacks. Another uh, Greek goddess that actually exists is the goddess of revenge, Nemesis. Now obviously this character just fits because nemesis is the goddess of revenge and that's basically what all the uh the themes are in god of war games well the trilogy at least so again i think if they will come back and need the goddess of revenge of course you have the god of beginnings choices and doorways it'll probably show you know like all the different things Kratos should have done to mess with him, you know, messing with his head, using illusions and things of that nature. I think that this guy, if he comes in, that would be pretty damn cool. You have over here the goddess of victory, Nike. Not the shoe, the shoe is actually based off of this. And I think it's cool she has a chariot. I think this would be another good thing to actually come if they decide to put Greek gods in this, but the number one god that should return is Artemis. If you guys don't remember, I will remind you, in the first God of War game, she actually assists Kratos in that game. She was one of the gods that actually made an appearance through the portals, and she gave Kratos the sword, um, the blade of Artemis, and she gave Kratos that in order to defend uh, Olympus. However, ironically enough, Kratos actually destroyed Olympus. So if they will put Greek gods in this, she definitely needs to make a appearance, 100%. This also goes hand in hand with my Athena theory, because if you remember, Athena is also still alive. I made an extensive video about that theory. You can click it on the top part of your screen. You guys really love that. But Athena could have um, made contact with the Norse gods, gave them the vase, the, the vase that we saw in the God of War be a warrior trailer so that the Norse gods can hunt down Kratos and as the Norse gods are hunting down Kratos the Greek gods can also come through and try to kill Kratos as well. I think this will make a great dynamic to the story because one of the things you also have to remember at the end of God of War 2 Athena told Kratos that Zeus himself is Olympus. Why do you sacrifice yourself? 
To save Olympus. I do not seek to destroy Olympus. Only Zeus. Zeus is Olympus. <laughs> A fear that drove Zeus to kill you. His own son. His son? Just as Zeus was compelled to destroy his father, Kronos. You are compelled to do the same. Now, the Greek gods obviously hate Kratos. They don't like him because, you know, again, he destroyed everything that they've known. However, will they remain loyal to Atreus? Atreus is Zeus, if you want to think about it, since, you know, Zeus is technically Atreus's grandfather if Kratos is truly the father to Atreus. So who knows, maybe the Greek gods will meet up with Atreus and they'll try to convince Atreus to fight against Kratos and the Greek gods will actually help Atreus in the process. I think that will be a phenomenal storytelling, father versus son, just like how Athena said father versus son exists in Kratos' bloodline, how Zeus killed his father, Kratos killed Zeus, and who knows what's going to happen if Atreus fights Kratos alongside the Greek gods if they do decide to go that route. Again, I think this is all pretty goddamn interesting. That's going to be the end of this theory. Let me know what you guys uh, uh, think about this theory. You know, with the Greek gods teaming up with the Norse gods or the Greek gods being loyal to Atreus. I'm going to be out of here. Thank you guys for listening. Deuces.